I'm King, the founder of Tencent AI. So this video, I will guide you how to use Tencent AI. Tencent AI is the AI platform that helps you create the struct test case from business requirement in minutes. And the first one, you need to log in to the platform by click on sign in icon. And you need to fill out your email and password. If you don't have any account, you should click on register to create one. And now I will click on login after I fill out the valid information of login. After login, you need to create a project. So you can click here and click create a project. You need to fill out the name of project. Example, I have a name game management and I fill out the description of project. This will help AI understand the context of project. So generate the text case are accurate and relevant. I pass. And then I need to choose the language to create the text case. You can select multiple languages. Example here, I will select English and Vietnamese. Then you need to setting um, for the project. The first one, you need to define the writing style and tone. This means when the, the AI respond the answer to you, so the tone and the style of text will in uh, what type of you define. Here, I select natural and clear. The second one, you define test coverage strategy. This means you define what type of test case AI will respond to you. You can define by yourself or you can choose from template. Here I have UI testing, functional testing, data validation, performance, or IBI, something here. And you select uh, the detail level of test case. Then you apply. You can use default setting here. Okay. And you edit by yourself in text. Uh, you can define more type of cases you want AI respond to you. Here you need to define the priority level of each tech K. So you should define what made a tech K a critical priority. Yeah, I can select default setting or you can define by yourself. The exclusion rules means you need to define the test K type the AI should not respond. Here you can see example I don't want uh, the test K related to uh, hit the footer, so I will add here. For test steps detail level, when a test case is created, a list of test steps will be created in the test case. So the detail of that step will be defined in low detail, medium detail, or high detail. Example, I want to choose low detail, and you can edit here to require the AI to respond the test step follow what you want example you only want three steps you can write here okay and then after you setting at the information you click on create a new project created and now you should fill out the future decoration here and you can also upload the UI, the document to talk about the requirement, the diagram or something like that by click on add files. We support up to 10 files. And then now you click on create the case in English or Vietnamese. This is two languages you select before. Okay. Example, I want to generate in English. I click English. And here the AI will start to analyze your requirement and it starts to create the checklist and respond to you. Here, the checklist already created. Then you should to check the response from the AI. It's simple. I don't want this. Take care. I click on delete. I don't want this. Mm. This one, I click on delete. I can comment. It's simple here. I don't, I want to set the responsive. So I will write here, 
right is to multiple test k which is test k for a screen size okay and then i comment and you can request to add more test k here you can remove you can uh, update or something like that even you want to mod some cases example here i want to mod 3k i click here i select 3k and then i click on my selected and i comment what i want here so i will add if you don't want to add comment you let it blank here and it's at this one or i can remove okay i can restore and after you input your comments and then you click on update quick change the the ai will based on the current checklist and your comments and then it will suggest the new test case based on the current test case here you can see the new one and you can check it on the timeline here the request update so the new version create you can see the version one is the first one when you comment here and the version two is created from version one with the comments and the timeline here show the the case 21 of uh, you request to delete so you can check 21 uh, verify robust here so you can see 21 to 21 this is removed already or oh, sample case 27 yeah it's already separate to multiple cases by your request okay and then after you update and you confirm that that this checklist is okay to you you can start to generate on test case or you can generate one by one yeah now i will click on generate on test case when the first time you generate test case it's request to to input test data so i will fill out the test data here example this is flow of blockchain so it's request to username so you can fill out valid username and you fill out info here and password so if you are here so when create a test case it's based on the test data here so if you don't want to input the test data you can let it blank so ai will create it for you okay so now you click on self and generate so the ai will start to analyze analyze the checklist and request ai to create the test case for you here you can see the test case already created yeah it's simple when you reload so it will stop the process you can continue to generate you can request here i want to stop i just reload and then now the test case are created so i click on this icon i can command to request to regenerate this test case yeah you can also hide on test case yeah you can see on just click here you can view test case in table in table you can shut you can shut you can filter you even select the test case you want to export here yeah. we support export injection csv slsx or even you can arrange the the position here yeah. or you can disable means no download with these fields and you click on export and you can config the test case id assemble here disconnect i will write disconnect and start from the case one and i click on export so that case will export and you can see here yeah it include the tech case and the checklist so the checklist here i have not generated the full tech case they don't have this field information and here you can click on this icon you can translate from this current 
that's okay to all the languages we support multiple languages here you want you can translate to you can clone the checklist or review the checklist yeah so that on how we use this application